I'm waiting for the fangirl screech. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to pull up my stream now on Twitch. stream yeah so is mine I can't <laughs> you see it <laughs> what's the stream name what's the stream name Felicity <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm trying to pull up my chat right now. I'm really trying. Okay, there we go. Now I can see chat. My stream's acting a bit weird on my end, but you can probably see it, right? Yes. Now, before I make the sides, I want to make Thomas first. So we have a reference yes. for the rest of them. The only thing is, I don't know how to make Thomas is the thing. I don't know where to start with his hair or anything. Because I do know what he looks like to an extent, but there's a difference between seeing like people on the internet and being able to talk to them face to face, seeing them, and actually yeah. like getting to know them for real. Like, I don't know this guy. I don't personally know this man. <laughs> We definitely wish we knew this man, but we don't know this man. So, um, I don't really know where to start, and I'm not really good with referencing from a photo. I can try, and I'll try and do something with his face. One, getting rid of his glasses, but... <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I don't like the face. I don't like it. Well, I do like it, but I don't at the same time. Okay, first of all, I want to get rid of his, um, is, isn't that what you call, like, a five o'clock shadow or something? Yeah. Yeah, let's get rid of that. We're saving the facial hair for Remus, okay? <laughs> yes. He's... He's our poopy boy, he's our gremlin boy, and he, he gets a moustache. I yes. Which moustache does he get? Well, not that one. That one has a beard. I guess just that one. That's the only moustache we have. Oh, no. Yeah. Remus is gonna have a dumb moustache. <laughs> anyway. Um. Okay, uh. I really don't know where to start with Thomas. Right, Thomas. Um, I have no facial hair for that fact. All right, no facial hair. Um, he, the ears always tend to bother me because I feel like they should have bigger ears, but at the same exact time, not that big. But not. Mm, mm. Yeah. Ear proportion. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> that's, good. that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. We can leave it at that. That's fine. Oh, okay. We averted. We averted our first disaster. Okay. Do you know what his eye color is? Cause I'm willing oh to. I'm willing to keep those eyes. But do you know what his eye color is? Is it pink? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. It's probably like brown, right? 
But I don't know what shade. Like, is it, like, really light brown? Or is it, like, green? Because he might have green eyes, too. Like, not bright lime green eyes, but, you know. Lighter green. Or darker green. Darker green is what I mean. Like, green blue, maybe. Or or brown. One or the other, I think, is his eye color. Brown eye. His, his oh. eye what shade? Would you say it's dark, dark brown? Would you say it's medium brown? Or would you say it's light brown? Um, light medium. Alright, so right there? Um, the stream might be a bit delayed yeah. for you, but yeah, there we go. And I, I think I like those eyes. I'll keep those eyes. Those eyes are fine. I don't really care about those eyes. I need to change the eyebrows, though. The eyebrows are bothering me. I don't think they're his exact eyebrows. Like, I really need to pull up a reference picture. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm looking at his Instagram right now. <laughs> yeah, but you're not designing him. I am. I have the controller, not you. I know, but I'm trying to help. Also, I saw a picture of him with Jacksepticeye and I freaked out because they're both my idols and I can't. Like, literally both of them are my favorite people. They're literally my idols and I saw them, like, standing side by side. And I couldn't- I have a question. What? How are you going to do, like, the snake face for Janice? I don't know yet. We'll do something, though. <laughs> and I can do the sides fine. It's just Thomas, because um, with the Sander sides, yeah. with the Sander sides, they're characters. So each and every one of them already has, like, everyday outfits. They already have, like, a specific look to them. I even looked to the fan art yeah. for them. Like, the fan art is a good reference for them. Oh, definitely. But for Thomas himself, not many people actually draw Thomas in fan art. Like, not a large amount. Yeah. And I, I'm i not good at analyzing faces. All I see is a boy. <laughs> All I see is a man. <laughs> and I don't... I don't even know which picture to click on because I'm I'm looking at Google Im Im images for him. <laughs> I'm looking at Google images because I don't know. I, I might as well just hop onto his in Insta. Yeah. <laughs> just scroll through. Wait, did he do? Wait, was that a recent? Oh, wait. That was a hint for the new Sandersides thing he was doing. The Duke yeah. of the Rats has returned. The Rat Boy. The yes. Gremlin Boy. I loved that video. That was great. It was. I'm gonna look at his most recent picture, because... Or try to. I I actually can't. Um It's too far it's too far away. I can't see his face. <laughs> I can't see his face. <laughs> I'm blind. I'm zooming in. Zoom. Can you send me a zoomed in picture <laughs> on our DMs, please? Uh, on his face? Yeah, please. Just... I got you. Just on his face. I can I can maybe design his clothes from there, but because I remember a lot of his outfits. 
Like, I remember his blue light shirt, um, the one that's, like, a dark shade of blue with, like, lighter shades of blue on it, and it's, like, light. I remember his skull floral t-shirt. <laughs> um, he has a lot of floral print. <laughs> Yeah, he does. He really likes his floral print. Um. I also remember the brown jacket that he wears sometimes. But that's all I can really remember off the top of my head. Thank you for the picture of him zoomed in. It's a little bl You're welcome. It's a little blurry, but you know what? I can Yeah. I I can do it from here. I can I can probably do it. Um They're more arched than anything. And I don't want to say they're poofy, but they're not skinny either. They're a little thick. They're a little thick, but not by much. Yeah. I think the ones that I have for him right now are pretty fine. Um, match hair, so yeah. I, now let's go to his hair. Show all. Well, automatically, let's go to, um, what shade of brown is that? Is it that dark? Is it- is that- That's probably right, isn't it? Yeah. Close enough. Yeah, his ears are bothering me so much. Like, I wish I could change them. Come on, come on, come on. Just a little- A little bigger. Why do they peek out like that? I just want them bigger on the side. I don't like monkey ears. I have no idea. Can I can I change your ears, please? Just be a little yeah, like that, like that, maybe. Now they're too big. I I just don't like ears. Working with ears is so weird. I don't like it. Yeah. Okay, let's fix his chin a bit. Um. I don't really know how to work with the human body, like, at all. If I'm being honest. That, that looks fine. I, I don't think he has a long chin. You don't chin. know how to work the human body? No. I don't really know proportions all that well, or how to move things around, or how things look. That looks fine. Oh, that- that all looks fine. I just need to change his hair. Yeah. Because um. I feel like his hair is mostly pretty messy, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Not like that, no. That's- that's not messy at all. That's just bald. Um. That's like neat messy. That's like being neat but messy at the same time. Uh Uh No, that's a ponytail. Uh No. That's not it either, I feel like. Uh. I don't know, I don't know. I think this is- 
I think this is probably the closest we're gonna get with him. Is it? Yeah, oh. probably. Yeah, that's probably the closest we're gonna get. There, there's Thomas. He okay. looks fine. Um. Yeah. N now let's 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 just focus on his clothes. This is gonna be his every day. So, I'm gonna go with floral. <laughs> Floral print, and the main reason why I wanted to do this was because of this yes. shirt right here. This shirt, th this is just pattern reverse coloring, but still, that's just pattern style right there. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, but we're working on Thomas, so that's not it. Uh, floral, floral. I know there's floral print somewhere. You have to look through all the colors though. Because it doesn't show up right away. Yeah. I I think he also likes a lot of print shirts. Like anything with print, I feel like he really likes. Oh yeah. Before his everyday, I really just want. Oh, that that shirt right there would. Wait, no, no. This shirt would be really good for one of Princey's shirts, maybe. Because it looks like that's a star. It might not be a star, but yeah. it looks kind of like it. I don't know. I definitely want this for Logan. This shirt right here. I really want that for Logan. The one with the brain on it. Yeah. Okay, um. Floral, floral, floral. That's something he'd definitely wear too. But. Yeah. Floral, floral, floral. If I can't find floral print, we'll settle with the heart. Wait, I wonder actually. I'm actually gonna do this real quickly because I think I can. Um, style. No, uh, special content packs. Um, fashion choice. Let's get rid of the masculine because sc screw um gender. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Yes, King Slay. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, can you react it like this? Okay. Um. Yeah, we're already getting a ton more choices. We're getting crap tops yeah. too. I like the crop tops. <laughs> I might do that for Princey, the crop tops, because I think it'd be funny. Uh, oh, yes. He would definitely be the one to wear a crop top, out of all of them. Oh, yeah. Uh. And I don't know if that would count as floral. It's a little strange. Yeah. 
This definitely counts as floral, though. The only thing is, it's a crop top. And I don't think Thomas is actually the kind of person who would wear a crop top. Like, in public, right? I'll be in public. Yeah, probably by himself. Have you seen his bod pixie? Yes. He does wear them, but not not in public. Not in public. He's showing that confidence. Oh, never mind. I think is this? No, it kind of was at first. I thought it was like the same prints, but it wasn't. Totally different. And, um... Well, that looks like- that just looks like the jacket he sometimes wears. Yeah. Which, I could just settle for that. I know he likes- I know he prefers, um, floral print over anything. But, I don't know if I'm gonna find that. Wait. That might count as floral print, but again, not something he'd wear the cuts too low. Yeah. Actually, that looks like more like the shirt he wears. The jacket he wears. Yeah, that that's actually the jacket he wears. That is legitimately the jacket that he wears. Yeah, just a t-shirt was a different color. Yeah, I think- I, I don't think he'd mind the t-shirt in all honesty. Um, still looking around for floral, but I doubt I'd find it. Okay, I think I just found Prince's outfit. Princey's outfit. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes! That would work for him. Yeah. <laughs> I would feel like that'd be more of his party outfit, though. Yeah. I don't think it'd be his everyday, because his, his everyday is going to be hard to find, though, thinking about it. Everyday, Princey will probably, like, wear a leather jacket, basically. Not really, because I'm making all of the sides everyday what they normally wear. Because that seems more of their everyday, and there are a couple of instances where their formal outfit would be the ace attorney, um, the, the, the lawyer thing that they did, the lawyer bit. <laughs> the, lawyer. the lawyer bit would be their formal outfits. Um, the sleepover would be their um, sleepwear. Ex yeah. Except for, um, I think... I think Remus and Janice, both of them did show up, but they weren't in full vision. Neither of them were in full vision, so I don't know what pajamas they'd have, but... Yeah. Was Remus around for the sleepover? I think he was, wasn't he? I don't know. Did he show up before or after the sleepover? Because I think he showed up before, and then he kind of crashed it a bit. Well, not really. He didn't exactly crash it. I think he showed up in the background for like a split second, and then he hit again. <laughs> like, he was there the whole time, but nobody knew. Yeah. I, I think. I, I don't know. I might be misremembering that. He might not have showed up at all. I might just be misremembering. Um, does Thomas wear jeans? Old 
Like, what's his pants style? What pants he wear? Let's see if I can find the full body. Okay, that one. He's wearing ripped jeans that are light blue. There, he's wearing black pants. So you don't think he really cares about what he wears pants-wise? Black pants. Let's go with black jeans then. Let's just combine the two. There we go. Um, and there's no way we can know about shoes, right? There's no way. Have we ever seen his shoes? Like any of them? Because I feel. Because I feel like for most people, like if they were to post things on their social media. They don't normally include their shoes a lot of the times. It's mostly their upper half. Well, this huh. one is full Thomas, and he's wearing a black pair of shoes. Uh, what type of shoes? Boots? Sneakers? Um, they're more like kind of high tops. I don't know what those are. Give me a simpler term. So like this? So like these boots? Or... Because they have laces. Yeah, they have laces. Yeah, I'll go with these ones. Yeah, they look fine. And he doesn't normally wear hats, so here we go. Normal Thomas every day. Um, let's go to his formal now. Oh god, what are you wearing, boy? Well... You look okay, but get rid of your glasses again. Why, why do you keep spawning in with glasses? Stop that. You don't have glasses. You don't need them. I mean, when he's doing his, like, sleep, he is wearing shades. That's not actually his sleepwear, though. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, S sleep, I know, I know that's what you mean, but still, no. <laughs> okay, I might have to look up when he's in attorney outfit, in, in Sanders' sides. Or not attorney outfit, he, he's the witness, what am I, what, no, he's not even the witness, he's the defendant. I'm getting my terms mixed up. Yeah. Hold on, let me look it up. <laughs> Thomas Andrews. Um. Defend. Oh, that's Patton. That's. No, no, okay. Never mind. I'm I'm just gonna go to YouTube on my phone because it's gonna go. The audio is going straight to my headphones. Your audio is going through my phones, so I can hear you and the stream yeah. can hear you. But they won't be able to hear the video. The the video is being played through the headphones. Um. Objection! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Patton pointing the finger. 
because that's that's actually an Ace Attorney reference. That's literally just an Ace Attorney reference, and I love it. Yeah, it's that one. Yeah. Um, he- oh my god, he actually has a floral print tie in this. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hey, think they have Thomas that in The Sims. Loves his floral. He really does love his floral, and you know what? He might love it a bit too much, because I don't think I can find a floral tie. Like, I'll try and find a floral a tie over, like, any of the other outfits, but... The best thing that we got here is the striped tie. The striped ties. <gasps> I found Thomas in a suit. Just, like without being in the Laura video because remember this is I'm doing this based off of Sander yeah. I'm doing this based off of Sander sides so his formal outfit has to be the one that he wears in the Sander sides videos I'm sending it to you anyway though because you look so good alright um let's do well no those are bow ties those aren't even ties at that point. And it's an open suit. It's open suit. Um, there isn't even an open suit with a tie. Really? Okay, fine. We'll do... Closed suit. And his suit was like a dark blue. Yeah. Those have stripes though. Huh. It's probably the best one I'm gonna get. Yeah, that's probably the best one I'm gonna get. Yeah. I feel like that would be Roman, if I'm being completely honest. Roman would definitely slay this shirt right here. Oh, yes. Because out of all of the sides, Roman and Remus are the two most confident ones. Like, the two Absolutely. of them... The two of them could absolutely slay anything. <laughs> slay queen. They they could literally slay. Um, is there one where Thomas stands up in the courtroom? Does Thomas ever stand up in the courtroom? I know Janice does. Janice stands up. Quite a bit, actually, but I don't think anyone else does. Yeah, no one else really stands up. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Um, I assume his pants would be like the same color as his suit, right? Isn't that how that normally works? Yeah. Usually. So it would be like this dark shade of blue. Like, navy blue. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. It's not the exact shade, but it will do. And we'll give him shoes of the same color as well. Because that's normally how that works as well. There we go. 
Next, athletic wear, which, uh, let's, uh, He looks like Fresh Sands. <laughs> he looks like Under Fresh. Oh my God. No, no, you cannot look like Fresh. Not in this house. That gives me an idea. No. That gives me an idea for another YouTube thing. But let's save that. I'm I'm not doing that right now. Actually, what colors I'll are save there? That for another day. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's save that for another day. Um. Like, almost never. <laughs> he literally did look like Fresh though. Fresh, though. This is exactly what Fresh wears, and it's scary. <laughs> it's terrifying. Um, does Thomas ever wear exercise clothing during, like, Sanders' sides? Like, did he ever have, like, a training montage or anything like that? Probably not. Like, knowing how he is in Sandersides, he portrays himself as a person who is really, really kind of lazy. Yeah. And he portrays himself as extremely lazy. I, I doubt that he is. I really doubt that he actually is. But he definitely portrays himself as that during Sandersides. Oh wait, there was one time, there was one time I remember he was kind of jogging, I think. It was one of his vines, and he wore something like this, but it was oh, in yeah. full black. Like, he had like a training suit, kind of, but it was in like all black. It was during summer. <laughs> Do you remember that one? Oh yeah, definitely. So, I'm actually just gonna give him like all black. Like a nice little black tracksuit. Like that. That looks fine. That looks fine for yeah. athletic. He's he's rarely gonna exercise anyways. Now for sleepwear, I now have to jump to another Sandersides video where um they're having a sleepover. And the sleepover was after Remus. So Remus was there, I think. I, I'm 99% sure he poked out of behind the couch. Like, I think he was sitting behind the couch or something. Janus showed up for a split second too, but he wasn't a part of the sleepover. Nope. He did show up. I knew he showed up during Disney. I think he was there the entire time, I think, during that episode. And I think he was just behind the couch making comments. <laughs> making dumb comments. Sounds like something he would do. Okay, and I was wrong about the little sleepover thing, because apparently not all of them were in sleepwear. Um, Thomas and Logan were the only ones not in sleepwear. I know Logan has the um, unicorn onesie. He wore it once, but... Um... Has Thomas worn a onesie before? Not in Sanders' sides, right? Not in Sanders' sides. Sleepwear before. Um. Oh yeah, on Sandra's sides he has worn sleepwear because he's <laughs> he he portrays himself as so lazy. He wakes up at like one p.m. <laughs> Two p.m. Uh, I'm even worse, and I don't wake up that early or that late. I wake up at like ten, and I fall I fall asleep at four a.m. Last last night it was four a.m. Four to five is probably not very healthy, is it? Mm, nope. 
or not four to five, but four to four to ten. Probably not. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's six hours of sleep. Six hours is enough, right? How many? Sure. How many hours of sleep do you need? Like, what's the actual amount? Eight. Oh. Oh well. Mm. <sighs> oh yeah, I forgot about his physique. Oh well, um... Well, skinny. Well, not that skinny. Around there, and... I don't really think he's all that buff, but... I'll give him a little bit of muscle, because... I'm nice. Uh, yeah. Noodle, weak, weak nerd arms. There we go. <laughs> uh, for his sleep, where, um, oh yeah, I forgot that you showed me him in a suit. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. I know. He looks great. <laughs> Um, him, him is in sleepwear. Oh, wait, didn't he wear, like, a nightgown or something? During, well, not a nightgown, because that's... I mean, like, what's the thing that you wear that's, like, a gown, but it's not a gown? It's, like, um, the uh, the towel gown. Robe? Yeah, g robe. Didn't he wear a, a robe? Didn't he wear a robe during the Remus episode? What color was it? Was it blue or white? I do not remember. I think it was blue, if I think so. I'll I'll double check right now. I I'll, I'll check right now. I think it was blue. During the intrusive thoughts video, it was, um, yep, yep, yep. It was navy blue. It was like a dark blue or slash black. Um, we don't have any of that in bathrobes, sadly. We have the- we have like a really light blue, but we don't have, um... Yeah. We don't have the best bathrobe. But that'll work. That'll work. That's ref that's referencing the intrusive thoughts video, so it works. Um, I think he was wearing shoes, not socks. Let's take the socks off because you have to be an absolute monster to wear socks with slippers. Yes, my mom does that. Oh God, we want to give him bunny slippers. <laughs> I think he, oh. <laughs> I think he was wearing normal oh. slippers in the video. I'm yes. pretty sure he was wearing normal slippers, but it's funnier to give him bunny slippers. Well, let's just give him normal slippers. Normal slippers are fine. Next one is is his party outfit. Oh, actually, let's keep that. Let's keep that. But we need to change the clown shoes. The clown shoes don't work. <laughs> But I do like that outfit. And, uh, I do like that outfit. That outfit's really good. I feel like that's something he would wear. Yeah, like, this seems like something he would wear. You think so? Yes. Yeah, let's... Oh, wait, real quickly, I'm gonna go back to his formal wear, because I forgot to get rid of something. 
Because he has rings on. No. Wait, he has a bracelet on too? Uh, get those off. Get those off. Did you have something on during your every day? Yeah, you did. You, you also had another ring. No, take that off. You had another ring here. Nope. And wait, do you have... Is there any... Why are you wearing earrings for your parting wear? I mean, you, you're sl you're slaying, but I, I don't think... Those actually look really nice. I do like the earrings, but... um. Thomas wouldn't normally wear earrings, would he? Nah. Yeah, let's take them off. They are really nice. I do like the earrings of the outfit, but I'm taking them off. <laughs> what? Look at this boy. Don't send me shirtless pictures of him, okay? <laughs> don't, don't do that. I don't care if it was from his Insta. No! <laughs> we don't have shirtless Thomas here unless it's for his swimwear, which is his next one. <sighs> Fine. Okay. <sighs> Why do you do this? <laughs> Why do you do this? Yes, I do. <sighs> well, let's get him some good swimming trunks. <laughs> Actually, oh god, what does he wear when he's swimming? I don't know, but there's a picture of him swimming, but no, not a picture of his trunks, though. <sighs> let's just, let's, let's give him a speed up. I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. Those are cursed. <laughs> No! No! We're not yeah. giving Thomas a speedo! We're not doing that! Why not? <laughs> no! Come on! Did Thomas ever mention Why his favorite not? color? Did Thomas ever mention his favorite color? Okay. Thank you for the help. I thought you were a Thomas Sanders fan. You're, you're very welcome. I thought you were a fan of Thomas Sanders. Do you know what his favorite color is? I kind of want to. I kind of want to assume pink. If I'm being completely honest, the only reason why I'm thinking that is because of all the floral print that he has. Actually, it might be blue. It might honestly be blue, actually, because he, he wears a lot of blue yeah. things as well. Like, a lot of blue and blacks. Black. A lot of blue and blacks he likes to wear. So well, I'm assuming that's around his favorite color. So we'll give him the floral print blue um, trunks. Because palm, tree, palm trees are floral, right? Yeah. yeah, let's go with that. Um, now this is for hot weather. Um, those are swimming trunks again. And that's a scarf. <laughs> now, um... We both know that Thomas will wear dark colors in hot weather. Not even that. He'll wear, like, sleeves in hot weather. So you know what? Getting rid of the hot weather oh, option. Yeah. Um, we're gonna give him full black, like, black hoodie. We're gonna give him, um, black pants. Again, getting rid of the hot weather option. Black pants. Ooh. 
and then mm, black sneakers. There we go. That's Thomas. Also, his hair from far yeah. away. Yes. His hair from far away. I'm really tempted to make his hair a lot, a, a little bit brighter because from far away it looks black. I don't know. I'll, I'll keep it the way it is, but... And now for cold weather. What is... What are those pants? I kind of like them, but the same exact time, no. Yeah, there, there's some Roman pants right there. Okay, this is... This is cold wear. What what does he wear during the cold? Sweaters? Would he wear sweaters? Is he the type to bundle I don't up? Know. I feel like he's a Christmas sweater kind of guy. What do you think? Yeah. Like the ugly sweaters. Um, black pants again, because, yes. Always black pants. And then we're gonna give him, uh... I kinda do like those shoes, but... No, change. Oh, actually... No, not for Thomas. Uh... Black shoes again. Or something comfortable, because this is going to be, like, indoors. Yeah, look. Perfect. He's perfect. Yes. So there's Thomas, and, um... Now let's pick his likes and dislikes. Now... Wait, what? Oh, oh, color, color. Um, let's do color first. Um... Favorite color is definitely black, and I think it really is blue as well. Black and blue oh, seems to be yeah. his favorite. I don't think he really cares about any other color, because I've seen him wear... Oh, yeah. Purple. He likes purple. Oh. He does? Because huh. um, he did dye his hair purple, so... Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. Now, let's do music genres. Um, I don't know. I think, I think in the most recent episode, he was vibing the hip hop. Wasn't he? Yeah. He was vibing the hip hop. Yeah, definitely. And I feel like he does like his romance songs because of Disney. Um, I feel like Friends on the Other Side, we know he likes that a lot, because he literally sung it. Um, I feel like Friends on the Other Side is a little bit of a mix between, um, I kind of want to say classical, because oh, of a... Hmm, thinking about, I got friends on the other side. Yeah, it... it it literally gives me classical vibes because of the way it's written, like the background um, yeah. instruments. The background instruments have this really classical and, vibe. And they do have like old Disney songs. And it's spoopy. Is <laughs> in there that not a lot of people actually know? Yes, spoopy yeah. music. It's it's spoopy. It's a little definitely. Spoopy. Um, I feel like he's he definitely likes his Christmas holiday music. Um, he created a whole entire Santa Sites version of it. So I'm yeah. pretty sure. Um, yeah, I don't know about the rest. 
like likes and dislikes. So we'll just go on to activities that he likes to do. Um, comedy, yes. Yeah. Comedy, yes. Ooh. Um, I don't remember if he really likes cooking or not. Cause Sander, Sander sides him is really lazy and doesn't really cook, but that doesn't mean he doesn't dislike it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he- well actually no, I remember him saying he dislikes fishing by himself. Cause you remember, I think it was in the nostalgic video, um, where they were going through Patton's room. And it was this room filled with nostalgia, and he was like, this one time I was going fishing with my uncle, and normally I hate fishing. I remember him saying that in Sanders' sides. But then me and my boyfriend went together, and it was really nice. I, I remember him saying that. Yeah. So he doesn't like fishing, by himself at least, so I'm just gonna put it as a dislike. Um, don't know if he likes guitar. I know he he really likes music. I know he loves music. Um, in terms of it as a thing he can do, I don't know. I don't know if he can play guitar. Yeah. I don't know if he can garden. He can sing, though. He can definitely sing really well. Um, no, f no to fitness. <laughs> um... I don't know about handiness. Um, mischief is a n uh, actually. Mischief? Are you famous? <laughs> no, no, actually. Think about it. Um, do you remember in Divine Days? Do you remember the pranks he used to do? Yes. He actually did a lot of pranks. Wouldn't that fall under mischief? Yeah, and he was laughing, and his friends were laughing, so I guess he likes mischief. Um, I don't know if he's in the mixology. Nah. I don't know if he's in the programming. I don't know if he's in the piano. I, I think he does like painting. Um, actually, I'm gonna put mixology as a dislike, because I think he mentioned not drinking alcohol. Like, did he ever mention that in Sandersides, or am I just thinking wrong? I want to think Thomas would really drink. Yeah, I don't think he does at all. Um, he definitely likes video games. He loves Kingdom Hearts. I know he loves Kingdom Hearts because when he mentioned it, I died because I also love Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> don't know if he plays violin or piano. Um, don't know if he's into rocket science. Actually, I do know. He's more into animal science than rocket science, if I remember right. Definitely. And he does like writing. I know for a fact he likes writing. Yes, she is. And that that's about it of what I know about him. Everything else is more neutral. Um, his aspiration would probably be... Oh god. There's so many he could choose here. I feel like it's between creativity, love, and popularity for him. Or family as well. Family. Yeah. Well, actually, no, because an aspiration is something you want to do in life, something you want to achieve. 
Yeah. More than anything. I don't think he ever wanted to achieve popularity. I don't think that's what he was aiming for at first. No. But he did. And, and technically, he's already achieved that, so I don't see why he'd aspire to be popular when he already is. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure he has a boyfriend right now, doesn't he? Isn't he dating someone right now? That is a very good question. I actually don't know. I think he does. Yeah, I think he does. I... I don't know how much he really puts... likes family. I don't really know if he even wants to aspire to have one, in all honesty. Yeah. Because having a family means having a lot of responsibility. You gain all of this responsibility, especially if you become a father. Like, that's huge. And I don't think he wants to aspire to that just yet. Creativity seems like something he'd really want to aspire to be. Like, this entire time, he wasn't- this entire time when he was on Vine, all he was trying to do was make people laugh. So that's more comedy. But it got more and more, and he just wanted to entertain at this point. Not only that, but he wanted to follow his own, um, his own aspirations, which- falls under creativity because um, not only does he like acting, but he also likes singing as well. Definitely. But I think we should put it under popularity. The reason why I want to choose popularity is because um, keeping many friends as they can I think I think he wants to be more of a joke star, right? I don't know. I, I can see it. I can definitely see that. I can also see friend of the world being an aspiration as well, wanting to have a lot of friends. Yeah. Um, I mean, Thomas already has a lot of friends. He does. So. Throwing a ten amazing friends. Yeah, I can see I can see a lot of these being a thing. The thing is with creativity, I really wanted to choose musical genius. But thinking about it, when it means musical genius, it means picking up an instrument for the Sims. You can't just start writing songs or doing anything on, on Sims at least. It, yeah. It wants you to pick up an instrument, and I don't know if Thomas knows any. So for me, it's between Soulmate, which is the one, or um, Friend of the World. I don't know if I want to do Jokestar, because even though he has been trying to do comedy for a really, really long time, I don't think that's his absolute goal. Alright. Um, now let's pick traits for him. He's he's not active. Um I hmm. Now this is what I mean about not knowing a person. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know this man personally. What do you want me to choose? He's creative. I mean, creative. We know he's, yeah, he's creative. We know that by his videos. Yeah. And there's Noofy. I don't think he knows what we're talking about. Hello, Noofy. Hi, Noofy. Hello. Hello. I was just showing people at Noel last night. That sounds 
great. Yes. <laughs> we were being demolished in Uno by Newfie. Newfie is a god at Uno. I'm just a god of luck. Yeah. Yeah, we're making the sander sides on Sims. I don't know if he knows what sander sides is. Does he? No. Okay. <laughs> Newfie, you're missing a lot. I... What's a sim? No. Oh my god. You, you, know, <laughs> you know what the sims is. You know what the sims are. You know what the Sims are. What's that? Are you a Sim? Or are you a Simp? Simp. Hmm? <laughs> He's a Simp. how we just completely gave up on the stream and now we're just meowing. <laughs> yeah, I'm streaming. <laughs> you're, you're following me. You're legit following me. How do you not know I'm streaming? <laughs> Back to talking about nerd stuff. Me and Felicity. <laughs> the reason why I have Felicity here on the stream with me beca is because um, she's a big nerd of the same exact thing I'm a big nerd of. So we're just um, we're a big nerd of the Sanderside series. Should I? Picture of the precious boy. Um, please do I, not. I don't want to. No, no, no. He's a real person. He's a real person. He's like a real. He's literally a real person in real life. Do you, Do you know the Viner Thomas Sanders? <laughs> do you know Thomas Sanders? Uh, I never heard of. Him. Oh, okay. He's a Viner. He used to be a Viner. Um, ever since Vine shut down, he switched to YouTube, and, um, and there's a little skit that he did that became really popular, and it turned into a huge series called Sandersides, 
where he creates these other people who are like facets of his personality kind of like how you did with like void and mal Nufi. He 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 did something very similar to that, and he created like these facets of his personality. You have um morality, who is like his morals. You have creativity, who his creativity. You have um and and then you have um uh um. Logic, logic, logic. Then you have logic. I'm sorry, that took me a minute. Logic? Where? Yeah, that's all I'll tell you because that's all I'll tell you because there are more, and in the series he reveals more throughout. But um, I'll only tell you the first three that show up, which are those three. There are more that he has, but. I recommend you watch it. On YouTube, there's, like, playlists, and it's Sandersides. It's great. Highly recommend. I also recommend you do not watch the stream, because you will get spoiled, and I recommend you leave the VC if you don't want to get spoiled. Uh, I was never here. You were never here. He was never here. He disappeared. He didn't even meow back. <laughs> he's gone. No. At least he's gonna watch Sanders sides now, okay? Yes. I I don't want to spoil him on something he hasn't even watched. I, I would have invited him if he knew. If he knew what Sanders sides yeah. was, I would have invited him to the stream, but he doesn't, and I don't wish to spoil him. Um, Thomas is a music lover, and he is also, now, I want to say either outgoing or lazy, because in Sandersides, he portrays himself as lazy, but in, yeah. in real life, I'm pretty sure he is outgoing. He's more outgoing than lazy. Like... I feel like there's a huge difference on how we portray ourselves and how we actually are to other people. Definitely. Like, I feel like Thomas Thomas definitely portrays himself as lazy when he is more outgoing. Um, I feel like um, Jack does it as well. A lot of people do it. Where they portray themselves as one thing, but they're really the other. Like, I portray myself, like, differently of Romans than I do my family. Yeah. Um. And I feel like in real life, he's actually really neat instead of, like, really messy. Because, again, in Sanders Sides, he portrays himself as kind of a slob. But yeah. I I really don't think that's how he is in real life, if I'm being completely honest. Nah. Like, so many of his Instagram photos, like, from what I have saw, are so filled with life. Yes. It's so lively. Uh, all his floral. All his floral. All of his floral. I, I can't stand floral, if I'm being honest. Personally, I hate floral. I hate hey, floral I print. Like, man, I love myself a nice pair of floral jeans, okay? I, I, oh, floral and jeans. Me a new pair. Floral jeans. Yes. You know what, I'll take the easy road and I'll say he's lazy, because I know that's not how he is in real life, but in Sandersides, he does portray himself as lazy. So I will put that in. There we go. And we're done with Thomas. Next. Hey. Next, um, actually, I'm 
Yeah, yeah. Add a sim, just, um... Can I copy you, Thomas? Or actually... I'm gonna save him to the ha save him to the library. Save him to oh, yeah. yeah. Save him to the ha save the household. I'm gonna save household to my library. Next, I'm going to add a sim. I'm gonna add sim from my library, and then we're gonna add Thomas a second time. And just change his clothes. And change his name as well. And name, yeah. Merge. And the reason why I'm doing Roman first is I want to do this in order of when they probably appeared. When these assets of his personality yeah. first appeared. Um, and in order, I feel like Logan is one of the very last, um, ones that he gained. Like, if we're going in order from, like, childhood to, like, young adult. Um, I feel like as a child, his very first, um, facet of his personality, I want to say, was creativity. Roman. And I don't think his creativity split off until he was a teenager. Like, I feel like he kept Roman until maybe his teenage years, where he got Remus. Or his yeah. creativity split in half, you should say. So I want to say Roman was actually the first, because as a young child, the first thing you're witness to is, like, things that make you think. As a young child. As, like, a toddler or like a baby and you get like these little puzzles where you have to think a lot and you have all of these like really small things that not only kind of make you think but it also causes you to get more creative and as a kid you have this huge like imaginary world where you can just be yourself especially as like a really young kid so I feel like, out of all the sides to be first, I I'm I'm talking about it as if it's a system, and <laughs> but it's not a system. It's not DID. I know it's not yeah. DID. I'm literally talking about it as if it's a system, though, because that's the only way I can think about it in my head, even though it's not a system. I. I want to say that Roman was the first facet of his personality that came out, though. Because that's just how young kids are, in general. Really creative. So let's do that. Romina, are we you? And of course we're going to change his personality traits. Let's do that right now, actually, so we don't forget. Yeah. Um, I actually think, I think, oh wait, god, oh no, 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 what am I doing? Oh god, okay. I actually think Roman dislikes black. I think he actually, um, really likes the color white and red. I don't think he likes purple at all. <laughs> If I'm being honest. Or actually, no, I think he's more neutral towards purple. Because he did like the hair, if I remember right. He did like the hair. But I think I remember him constantly insulting Virgil on his clothing choice. And I don't know if that was him just trying to be mean. Or if he actually is kind of neutral about the color purple. Hates green. <laughs> Neutral on blue, and I, I'm gonna. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely no green. Yeah, no green. It reminds him of Remus, and he gets Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> I also think. Uh, that's nothing to joke about, but. 
Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's not nothing to joke about, but yeah. And I don't think he likes yellow that much, because the way that Roman is, he doesn't really forgive people that easily. And even now, he's not really, like, even now, canonly, he doesn't even like Virgil that much. Even yeah. now. Like, that's why I'm keeping purple neutral. Like, even now, he doesn't hate Virgil, but he has a really, really hard time of showing Virgil that he cares. And it's because of how y used to... And it's because of how he was used to seeing Virgil as an enemy. He was so used... Yeah. He was so used to saying, oh no, it's anxiety, that, um... <laughs> that y yeah I don't I, I think he honestly just feels neutral about the color purple at this point um music genres we're definitely keeping the romance option and we're actually gonna get rid of spoopy as as a favorite and we're actually gonna put it as a dislike yeah because I don't think Roman's a big fan of spoopy things. Um, I think he loves oh. classical. I'm gonna get rid of hip pop. Or actually... Yeah, we'll keep him liking classical. I think he would like classical. What about spoopy Disney music, though? I don't think he likes that either, if I'm being honest. Like, he loves Disney. It's, it's obvious. True. But he's he prefers the heroes mainly. He prefers the good side of everything. Like the heroes and all of that. Um Yeah, well I think he would like K pop, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I think he'd like pop yeah. as well. Um, activities. I, yes, he likes comedy. Um, we'll keep the dislike on, or we'll get rid of that dislike, because I don't know about Roman. I don't know about his th stand on cooking. Um, I think he likes fitness, actually. <laughs> Instead of hates it. Not a gardener, don't know if he likes guitar. Um, Mixology, definitely big mislike. Get rid of the mischief. Well, that's that's a big iffy one. Um, I'll say, yeah. uh, I'll say he doesn't like mischief. I'll keep it neutral, actually, because yeah, the thing with him is he he tries to make it apparent that he doesn't like mischief. He hates the villains, but at the same exact time, him putting that personality out there is kind of toxic within itself. And for the people who are trying, Definitely. and for the people trying to improve themselves, it makes it harder on them because he constantly wants to berate them with like insults and just kind of want to make them go away even though they're trying to be better and that's kind of mischievous in itself and that's that's the one thing that I don't like about Roman like his strong views on how heroes should be and how people should be his strong views are oh, definitely are very toxic and that's the one thing that I really don't like about Roman. Roman is great as a character. I really do love Roman. But his views are way too strong. And if Roman was a real person, and if I were to ever meet Roman, he wouldn't like me. And I know that for a fact. And I think his strong personality views would actually hurt me more than anything. 
Which, yeah. Which is why I'm not a big fan. Um, he loves painting. I feel like that's. I feel like that's where like me and Roman are kind of different with our views. Yeah. I mean, I can say things that are hurtful, but I feel bad for saying those things. If I do. Yeah. I feel like he's heavily in the piano and violin, I want to say. Like, because the sides are facets of um, Thomas's personality, and even though these aren't canon, I can probably put them in anyways. Yeah. Um, I feel like he would be heavily into playing the violin and the piano, mainly because they're really nice instruments. Um, they're really classical instruments. Um, yes. And they're kind of princey in a way. So there we go. Now let's do personality traits. His aspiration would definitely be popularity over everything. Absolutely. Well, actually, I don't think it's friend of the world. It might just be, well, not even creativity. Oh, oh would it be love? You know what? It, it's definitely love. And yeah. The thing is, Roman gives me different vibes, like, sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes he gives me the serial romantic vibe, where he just wants to play the field and go on a go on dates with as many people as he can. Like, that's one of the vibes that I get from him. I also get the soulmate vibe, which is where he wants to find and live the life with the one. He gives yeah. me he gives me both both of these vibes because in a lot of the romantic episodes of Sandra Size where they're talking about love and romance, um in a lot of them sometimes Roman Roman's very conflicting with this because a lot of the times Roman is just like, oh, we have to find the one for us, the perfect one. And then other times he's, he's just like, <laughs> cute boy. Especially the uh, animatic. The animatic one, he was really that bad was with me. that. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, cute boy. Go talk to him! <laughs> what? No! Yeah, I'll do soulmate for him for now, but he's very conflicting with that. Yeah. He's definitely creative. I want to say he's still a music lover. Let's change the lazy trait, though. To <laughs> Out, yeah, to outgoing. We both know he's... Yeah. Now changing some of the clothes for Roman. And actually, I'm I'm changing all of their... I'm changing some of the physical traits as well, just to show that they are different people. I don't want to be confused with, like, 20 Thomases yeah. running around. Um, so changing his eye color to red would help me a lot. And actually, changing his hair. Um. I kind of want to change it to red, but at the same exact time. I actually want to do the highlight hair. And see what highlights we get from it. For doing that color, it's purple. Um, that color, it's blue. Perfect, perfect, right there. That that is absolutely perfect for him. Yes. Cause I, my vision of the Sander sides, like if they if they had different looks, I feel like Roman would have. A, a base of brown hair, and I think he'd dye the tips of it, like, 
red. Um, I feel like that'd be the same for all of them, except for Virgil. I feel like Virgil would be the only one to really full-on dye his hair. Oh, yeah. And I feel like it'd just be straight purple for him. Because it is a color he likes. It does attract a lot of attention, but he has a hoodie for a reason. It's fine. Yeah. Now for this a romantic boy, um... Uh... Let's change a lot of this stuff. Now his everyday is definitely his prince wear. So, um, getting rid of the masculine filter because I don't know if we can find it. Like, I think I need everything for this. So I feel like a white shirt with like a red sash is going to be really, really hard to find. I don't think we're actually going to find yeah. it. Yeah. Which is fine because I kind of have an idea of how his everyday would be. Yeah. Ha. Perfect. I feel like he would have a varsity jacket on. And of course, let's give him white pants. Oh. Uh, not like that, no. Uh, white jeans, white jeans. There we go. Um, and he... Oh. I feel like Roman would slay in jewelry. <laughs> Yes. But for right now, let's just give him normal shoes. Shoes. Or actually, no, I think he would wear, like, boots. Hmm. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, for his formal. Um, I can't really use the, um, the lawyer episode because that one, um, he was the judge and the judge has, like, the specific yeah. uniform that they wear. Can't really do that, but, but I have another idea for him that I think you'll like. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yes. <laughs> Look yes. at him. He slays. Look at him slay. Yes, queen. Yes, king. Yeah. Again, he would still wear white. It doesn't matter what he's wearing on the top, like his top. I, I feel like he'd still wear white. Oh, white actually looks good for the oh. It does. Hmm. And then let's give him some dr nice oh. red dress shoes, maybe? Yeah. And now let's edit his jewelry, because I do want him to keep that necklace. <laughs> it's a good necklace. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's not... Okay. Click. Click. Please. Click. There we go. Accessories. Necklace. I just want to change the color of it, that's all. Look at him! 
Look at him. Okay, now athletic. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Athletic, um... Changing all of... Crop top. Crop top. Crop top? <laughs> yes! I, I know Princey would not be against that at all. Those aren't good colors, though. I need to find a different crop top. He wouldn't wear the American one, too. Uh, that doesn't have colors. This one's in white, but... Yeah, a lot of the cop crop tops don't have the right color scheme for him. But yeah, do you think he he wear this? <laughs> yes. Yeah, he, he'd still slay in it. <laughs> Let's give him some shorts because yes. Actually, hold on, hold on. I'm just changing it real quickly because... Sh well, those are booty shorts. Those are too short. What about these ones? They're a little longer. They're still a little short. Eh, they'll be fine. Roman likes showing off anyways. It's fine. Yes. Um. And we'll give him sneakers these sneakers to be exact because they look cool. <laughs> they they look really cool actually. Alright, sleepwear. I actually remember what he was wearing. Um it was um a Beauty and the Beast onesie. So I'm actually gonna first get rid of the masculine filter here. I'm... Is, is there not a onesie here at all? I think the closest you have is a, the yellowish PJs. I'm getting rid of the sleep category as well. Yeah, there's some costumes here, and we could like play it off like they're um, sleepwear. Yeah. He was wearing a Beauty and the Beast onesie. But... Wait a minute. What's that one? Oh, that's the male version of the Day of the Dead! Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh. Yes. You know what? This should be his formal. No, no, no. We already have something good for his formal. Yeah. We have two things in mind for his party outfit, don't we? We have the really nice Prince one, and then this one is definitely a good one for his party outfit. Yeah. Wait, hold on. I I'm just changing the colors up a bit. Yeah, no. It's only red and black, but oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Uh, wait, that's Princess Leia's outfit? I don't know much about Star Wars, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. The, like, the pure white dress with the belt. That's Princess Leia. Oh. Vader. Wait. No, more Kylo Ren. Yeah. Kylo Ren for yeah, that uh, one. Yeah, and this one's Death. The Grim Reaper. 
That's a clown outfit. I'm trying to- I'm literally trying to get his sleepwear. The Beauty and the Beast outfit. That's the one he was wearing. I know he was wearing that, but we don't have that option. Uh. Shoot, what are we gonna do? Well, we, we could probably do this as his sleepwear. I mean, it looks comfy. It literally looks really comfy. I would probably wear this to bed. Yeah. And, um, it looks like an outfit of sorts. Like, oh. like, what do you think? It gives me kind of Aladdin vibes. Oh, you too? But still Disney. Oh, yeah, still Disney. Also, it's really uncomfy for me because, okay, here's the thing. With a lot of the outfits, if you get rid of the feminine filter, and if you put on, like, an outfit that's meant to be for a fem- a fem- a fem- a female, um, they- they gain- yeah, it gives the, um... <laughs> it, it gives them boobies for some reason. I don't know why. Like, it- why? Hey, hey, if Roman- if Roman had tits, he'll rock them, okay? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's good. Fine. We'll keep. We'll keep his titties. We'll also give him. I mean, if you think about it, some men do have. Well, yeah. Those are. Like, those are men boobies. Like, Those are men boobs. Seen... Yeah. Have you seen The Rock? Oh my god. <laughs> I I'm done. I can't. I can't. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Two two party outfits for him. I I'm probably going to do two for him. I'm I'm going to do both. We're first gonna do the really cool prince one that we found. Where was it? It was this one right here. We'll do this outfit for him. Yes. But we'll also do the other one that we found as well. We'll we'll do both because we can yeah. have we can have two formal outfits. Or two party outfits I should say. Um let's change his pants to white again. Because, um, I don't really like when he wears black. It makes me uncomfortable because it makes me think of Remus. <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> it makes me all yucky, you <laughs> know. Uh, and then we'll give him, um, red boots. There we go. He, he looks really nice. And then we'll give him a second formal outfit because of the other outfit that we found that was really nice. Um, the Day of the Dead one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead. No, it was up. It was up. It was up. Uh, obliterate that. Uh. Party, party, party. Uh, there it is. I like Perfect. To party. I like to summer. That I is a good outfit. I might actually get maybe if there's yellow, I'll put that on. Oh, hello, friend. Hi. I'm streaming. Hmm. Okay. You remember Sanders sides? Huh? You remember Sanders sides? Oh. Oof. Remember all of the characters? I forgot what you watched up to. Do you remember a character named the Duke or Remus? Was he? He was the one with like the. He wore like the black suit and he had like a top hat and gloves. Like, no. No. No, that's no, that's no, that's Janice. No. 
You you yeah, missed you yeah, you missed a few episodes. Deceit. That that's deceit. Snake, he was the snake boy. Snake boy, yeah. Y you missed quite a few episodes then. You need to catch up. I haven't watched it recently. Yeah. What are you streaming? Oh, the Sims Four and Sims. we're and we're doing um we're doing Sandersides. We're making Sandersides into The Sims, and we're having a lot of fun with it, because Roman is just slaying. Yeah. Roman is slaying. <laughs> yes. Yeah, let's, let's go to swim more now. Oh. Yeah, uh... I feel like Roman is the only one brave enough for this. He's the only one brave enough. Yes. Yes. He, yes. he is the only yes. one brave enough. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Stop trying to see everyone in Speedos, Felicity. No. He, he's literally the yes. only one. He's literally the only side out of all of them. Well, actually, um, uh, Remus. But... <laughs> Actually, Remus. Yeah. Actually, Remus would jump in naked. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, no. Remus would go skinny dipping. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dylan's watching the stream. He d he's never watched. He's yeah. He's he's never watched um. Uh, Sander sides. I recommended him. It. T I rem I recommended it to him once. Um, I don't think he ever watched it though, so I don't think he knows what we're doing here. But it's fine. Roman's the only one brave enough. Um, for hot weather. Um, put Roman in a skirt. <laughs> yeah. Roman in. I'm in a skirt. Uh, he 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 is the only one brave enough. He is literally the only one brave enough. Look look at this hero. Look at this man. Yes. And he would never be caught dead in a hoodie. Uh. This. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> I'm being nice. <laughs> I'm so, he looks gorgeous. He looks gorgeous. Oh my god. Nope. Save that for Remus. Nope. Save. Save that for Remus. Um, the shoes, though. Oh, what should I change the shoes to? <gasps> he would definitely be wearing oh. heels. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> yes! Roman, you look gorgeous. <laughs> Dying because he looks great. Also, yes. And now his winter outfit. He's definitely the sweater type of person. I forgot what his Christmas sweater looked like last time. The bunnies I'm saving for a pattern. Um. Yeah. You know what? I'll do this for him. The reindeer. No. The thing. I don't even know what it is, if I'm being honest. Ooh. I'm gonna put on those pants for him. And then change his shoes so that he... He looks glorious. Yes. And we're done. <laughs> we're done with Roman. Also... 
just just a real quick discussion on their um now now I know you're gonna say that every single side is gay, but I keep on getting different vibes from them. I I swear I get I different know. vibes from them. Right? Like Roman, I swear to God he's bi. I can see it. I see it definitely. I I definitely see it because okay, here's the thing with Roman. That's very, very different from any other side. At the very beginning of Sandersides, near the very beginning, I'm pretty sure he mentioned women. But I, but his overall preference is male. His overall pre preference is male. It's obvious for that part. Yeah. But I swear he's bi. Also, a large part of Disney, because Disney is a huge part of his entire character. Um... And from the very beginning of Disney, like, Disney was very bad with this, with representation, but at the very beginning of D Disney, the main thing that we always saw was the prince and princess getting married. That, that was always the main thing with Disney. Yeah. So I, I just feel like he's heavily bi because of that, and he is a prince. Just heavy buy. That that's the vibes I get from him. Also, literally in old vines, like even before Roman was a character in vines, in Thomas's old vines, you had um yeah, you had him like princess carrying princesses. Like yeah, how is he not buy? <laughs> Like, I get hardcore by vibes from him. Just hardcore. Um. Patton gives me pan vibes. Because of the way he is. Yeah. He gives me heavy pan vibes. Logan, Logan, I have proof that he's actually Arrow Ace. I have proof. We're streaming, man. We're, we're not even. We're not even on Minecraft yeah. right now. We're just friend group. What does that even mean? Oh, I get it. What? What is happening? Yeah. What? Oh, is something happening oh, in the SMP? Hi, is something happening in the SMP? Oh yeah, they're yeah, they're in a civil war right now. As plays told me. I asked them with who, and they didn't say so. We were the entire SMP was in the SM. It was going to war. Also, we're still streaming, Noofy. <laughs> who's Steve? What do you mean, who's Steve? I, I don't know who Steve is. I'm not on the SMP, dude. I don't think he, yeah, he's here still. There's only two people on. Yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, we're we're still streaming about um, Sandersides, which I don't want to spoil. <laughs> I'm s I'm s I'm sorry, new. <laughs> I'm not sure people really like this. You'll understand. I'll show it to you, and I promise you'll like it. It's it's and not it's not cringy. Right, it's new. it's it's not weird or cringy. It's literally just a thing that I will show you. But 
after this. Um, probably soon. I'm a, I'm a little stuck. Um, but probably tomorrow I'll continue it. Blair Witch. Um, no, I have the bot muted. It's a bot. Yeah, I'm muting the bot. I just muted it. Yeah. We should probably just make our own group chat because people keep coming in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Okay, everyone left. Groovy's still here. Did you guys mute the bot? No. Alright. We can still talk here. We don't have to make a new Discord channel if no one else joins. Don't we have one? I mean, Wait, don't- we do we? Where is it? It's with us and Dylan. It's your server. Wait, huh? Yeah, it's called. Oh, okay. Yeah, jump in, jump in it, jump in it, jump in the voice channel. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was fixing. Uh, hey, hello. Oh wait. Oh god, I can't hear anyone. Give, give me one. More. Okay, there we go. Hello. Hey. Um, so back on my talk on what I think everyone is. Logan, Logan is definitely Arrow Ace. I'm sorry, he, he is so Arrow Ace. Yes. And it's not just because he doesn't understand emotions. It's, it's not really that. It's more, it, it's obvious he can feel emotions, but it's more of he shows no interest, which is exactly what Arrow Ace is. Arrow, a arrow and aces, I should say, respectively, because they're both different. But I, I still stand my case on that because Logan, um, he doesn't show any romantic interest whatsoever. Um, in every single in in every single romance episode where Roman is going off the handle, Logan is the one being like, "No, we shouldn't date anyone. No, no, no." And it's more of him showing absolutely no interest in anyone. So that's where the arrow comes in. Um, the ace part comes in when um, when Remus pops up. I want to say. Because, well, nobody really shows any interest in that. So I guess no, but... <laughs> But you you get what I mean. Just just no interest. Just Logan just has no no romantic interest, no sexual interest either. Not really. He doesn't. He he really doesn't. He he is so arrow ace. And then and then we go over to Virgil, who is definitely a demi. He's he's definitely demisexual and demi romantic, which means you have to get uh, like an emotional attachment to the person before you try dating them or doing adult fun time with them. The reason why I say that for Virgil is because of the way he is as a person. He's not going to go on to a dating site and he's not going to try and get with someone because that's not how Virgil is. Virgil seems to be a lot more evasive with how he does things and 
unlike Roman, who'll just barge up to go, barge up to someone and say, "Hey, I like you. You're cute. Go out with me." Virgil is the exact opposite, and if he sees a cute guy, he's just gonna be on like the very corner. Panic. Full on panic mode. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like Virgil is more demi and uh, just demi both <laughs> demi romantic demi demisexual. He's both. Definitely both. And he he's still gay. Definitely. He has he has gay panic. <laughs> so it's fine. Um Remus Remus actually surprisingly I get two I I have a couple of different vibes about him like he gives me he kind of gives me a romantic vibes like it doesn't seem like he's interested in a romantic relationship at all <laughs> like at all at all yeah he's more interested in other things yeah, adult fun time. Well, that's that's kind of the thing. That's 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 kind of the thing with him cuz there cuz here here's the thing. You can still have someone acting exactly like how he acts and still be ace. So he might he might be ace thinking about it. Because I've, I've met a bunch of ace people who, even though they aren't interested, they still tease a lot. And it's because it's funny to see the other person's reaction. And they're mean for doing that. Yeah. But <laughs> they're really mean for doing that, but still. <laughs> it's still a thing I've had friends who are ace do, and I hate them for it. I hate them so much. <laughs> But, yeah, I get those vibes from Rima sometimes, but I, I feel like he's more aromantic and um, pansexual. Well, not maybe not even pansexual, probably bisexual. Well, it might be pan for him. I don't know. He, he gives me really conflicting vibes of Remus. Yeah. Um... And first of all, for Janice, I, I just want to say first of all, I'm he gives me NB vibes. Right right off the bat. He literally gives me NB vibes. So that's my headcanon for for them. That they're NB. Yeah. Um and second they um hmm. they 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 definitely seem kind of arrow ace in my opinion as well cuz they haven't really shown any romantic interest or sexual interest yeah, not really like yeah not really so they give me that vibe. But yeah, we're done with Roman now. We're done with Roman. Yeah. Now, let's make, um, um, yeah, let's make, add some for my library. And now, the next sim, I think, would be morality. Morality would definitely be the second one. Yeah. Because after, after you get creativity, I think then you get more of an understanding of what's right and wrong. So first, let's customize Patton's personality and likes and dislikes. Um, Patton. Yeah. Um, 
then let's do likes and dislikes again. Um, loves color blue. Um, and I think he really likes all colors. I, I think I think he just has a preference for blue, but that's about it. I don't think he likes any other color or dislikes any other color. He just likes everyone. <laughs> and every color. Um, music genre. Um, I don't think he's very into classical. I think he's more into hip-hop, pop, s-pop. Not very much romance. Um, winter, holiday stuff. Um, I don't think he has an opinion on spoopy music. Yeah. Um, kids radio, definitely. <laughs> and, and lullabies. Because I feel like he's the more childish one out of all of them. Um. Yeah, that's all for him. Activities. Um, very into comedy. Very, very into comedy. Um, I'm gonna do neutral on fishing. Yes. Jokes. Loves cooking. Ooh, there she is. Um, I'm gonna say he's neutral on fitness. Yeah. I don't know if he likes gardening. I'm gonna say that he does. <laughs> because he gives me those vibes. <laughs> he gives me them vibes. I don't think he is, but he gives me them vibes. Um, I'm gonna say he's neutral on handiness. Mischief is a big dislike, doesn't like that. Mixology is gonna be a dislike for him as well. Painting, yes. Um, video games, yes. And I'm gonna say he's neutral on writing. Yeah. But other than that, yeah. Let me see, like. And now for his aspirations. Definitely family. Yes. And he wants to have a big happy family. Um. I'm gonna replace, um, creative. Because I don't think Patton is that creative. And he's not lazy either. I don't even think he's too into yeah. music at all either. Not as much as Roman is. He's definitely very family oriented for one. Um. I think There's a childish trait. Yeah, he is very childish. <laughs> yeah. And um I feel like he's very good as well because that's how his morality is. He he just wants to do the right thing all the time. He's a good boy. Um now let's do his looks. Um first again with eye color and hair color. do glue just to differentiate him from the others I'm also gonna give him the dye hair that you can dye and which shade of brown there we go that has a nice blue pattern 
My throat is dying. <laughs> okay. I should probably get water to put right next to me for these kind of streams. Yeah. But yeah, patterns every day. I know what he wears for his every day. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, there it is. He wears a blue shirt and a different colored cardigan. Um. But this, this, this is okay. Out of all of them, this one matches more. They had a blue shirt with a blue cardigan, didn't they? No, they didn't. <laughs> um, and then his pants. Um, we're gonna give him khakis. If I can find them. I'm trying to look for them. Wait, wait, was that it? Kind of. Those are kind of what you call khakis. Yeah, I think those are it. Those are khakis, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's Patton. That's his every day. Yeah. Next we go to formal Patton, which, um, going back to the lawyer video. Well, actually, I don't have to go back because I remember. I kind of remember. It was like a white slash. Yeah. It was, it was like a white or it was like this colored suit with blue on the inside kind of like that but it wasn't the tie that yeah. was that color I feel like that is more of a representation of what Patton was wearing even though it doesn't have a tie um again gonna assume that it's the same exact color as his suit because um I don't have good enough representation. Uh, cream color. I, I don't know. Probably that one's fine. Um, and then same colored shoes. There we go. Let's get to athletic wear. And even though he never really wore athletic wear, I feel like I've seen Patton in um, the Watson outfit, maybe. Do you remember the Watson outfit? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I kind of want to make that his athletic wear, maybe. He was finally wearing his sweater. <laughs> that he wears around his waist. Um, so I'm going to do that. That could be what his sweater looked like, maybe. Not exactly. It wasn't a tracksuit, but you know what? It'll do. That to matching. Uh. There we go. 
Next, sleepwear for Padden would be his cat onesie. Unfortunately, we do not have cat onesie. So you know what? We're gonna have to do something else for cat onesie. And I kinda have an idea for it. Okay, I have an idea for it for sleepwear for a cat onesie because I saw this somewhere. There was no filter and I saw it somewhere. Um, right here, right here. Uh, wh what was this? What, what even is this? It has cats on it, so it's automatically adorable. Grandma sweater. It's a grandma sweater? Yeah. That, that's a grandma sweater. Oh. But it has cats on it, and Pan it's all about his cats. You know what? It also I'll... has a button up under it. Do you know how uncomfortable it would be to sleep in a button up? Yeah, no, that's not for sleepwear then. Um, Let's have Pat and wear something else. It's just a normal hoodie. Probably. I can't do anything. Do you want to get close to it? Or let's just give him, like, a pastel shirt. That'll work. Do something like that. I feel like he would wear plaid pajama bottoms. I don't know why, but it just gives me those vibes. Aww. Oh, that's just striped. That's just striped. Okay, going back to the pastel plaid. There we go. Oh. All right. Um. His next outfit for party wear. Um. For party wear. No, no. Why did you do that? Okay. Go all the way to the top for this. Um, actually, you know what? For party wear, I'm making him wear the grandma sweater, and no one can tell me otherwise. <laughs> hey, he'll rock it. Yeah, like, he'll be fine in the grandma sweater. He'll be fine. <laughs> And it's a cute sweater. It has cats on it. How can you say no to cute cat sweater? <laughs> I know. Right? Can't say no to cats. Cat sweater. And we'll make it a nice shade of blue. Aww. Look at the cat. That's his party wear. <laughs> Um... He looks so cute. He looks like a grandma. I love him. <laughs> I love him. Okay, real quickly, real quickly. I want to go back to athletic work because I just got an idea for him. That I think you guys are going to like. Wait, what's this? Oh, uh... Uh, uh, no. <laughs> Padded. Padded, no. 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 Aha! He gets the floral. Actually, I need, I need to go back to Thomas and give him that. Um, that's not exactly what I wanted to give him. Um... I wanted to give him this one. <laughs> the, the, fanny the one with the fanny pack. Yes. <laughs> I was hoping you would give him it. 
There we go. We'll give him this one. We'll give him this color scheme. And I actually need to go back to Thomas now because I just realized that I missed an opportunity to get him that floral shirt. Yes. Um, for his everyday. So real quickly, um... There we go. Now he has- why does he have long socks? No! No, those are even worse, no. Okay, there we go. Look at him, he is perfect. Well, the thing is, you can't even see the socks. I know. <laughs> and another thing is, in. It's still funny to know that, like, probably 90% of Sims don't wear socks. <laughs> Look, at least they're not wearing I socks with sandals, okay? Oh, that would be a patent thing, though. Yeah. That would be a patent thing, actually, thinking about it. Actually, you just gave me the perfect idea. Oh no. Just do that on his hot weather, not his athletic wear. I'm not even doing it on his athletic wear. <laughs> no, don't make him wear <laughs> socks to send him to bed. <laughs> Sandals. Those are technically sandals. It works. <laughs> no, give him socks with sandals or his hot weather outfit. Okay. Party and sw swimwear. I'll I will change. So he um he wears the very very long shorts. The very long ones. <laughs> Cause he's a good boy. -o. Actually, wait. Uh, let's do these ones for him. These ones are fine. It, yeah. Hot weather. Um. For his hot weather, we will do this because it just fits him perfectly. I don't care if it's green. It's adorable, and it's something he would wear. Actually, wait, wait, I have something. I have something else. I have something else in my head. I, I know. I know. I'm gonna obliterate the masculine filter real quick. That's his logo! That's literally his logo! Come on! <laughs> That's his logo! It's so hard! <laughs> Um. <laughs> and let him wear shorts. I just realized, like, I love how the bottom is jagged and it looks like huh? it was, like, cropped by someone. Oh. Like, an actual pop top. Oh, I love that detail, actually. It's cool. Yes. There he is. There he is. 
in ex glory. in ex cold weather, which I already have an idea for cold weather for him. Um, I have to do it. I have to do the bunnies. They're too cute. He has to be in the bunny sweater. Well, kind of. I'm gonna give him a hoodie with a tie for his formal. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yes. I forgot that we have to give him makeup. I forgot about that. Yes, there's the boy. There he is. There's the Patton. Yes. Give me one moment. I'm actually gonna go grab some water. Because my throat is getting destroyed. I don't know what I'm doing that's destroying it. Probably talking. Talking's probably destroying it. But you know what? You have to talk to en entertain your audience or else or else they leave. Yes. Yeah, I will be right back. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Entertain my audience for me while I'm gone. <laughs> the very little audience. I'm pretty Dylan. sure it's just Dylan. I'm pretty sure it's just Dylan again. Felicity, you can check. But yeah, have fun with them. Yeah. I'm back. Bye. I have my water. <laughs> All right. Um. Yes, we have Patton. Now. The next one we must create Roman pattern. Um, the next one is definitely um Virgil. Logan. Logan? You uh, Virgil, sorry. Well let's create Logan next. Let's do Logan.
One of these days, I'm gonna accidentally press replace, and that's gonna be the death of me. <laughs> Alright, so his name will be Logan. Logane. Logane. Logan. Logan Sanders. Oh, I forgot to edit their walks. Real quickly, real quickly. I'm gonna do that quickly. Like how they walk. Why do you have to edit their walks? Because it's funny. And I feel like they all walk differently. I I feel like Roman has the confident yeah. walk. Yeah. And I feel like Patton probably has the default walk. I don't think he walks any any special way. You know what? He has the confident walk because there's two different confident walks. I'm gonna give um Roman the other confident walk, or actually, I'm gonna give Roman because I think it'd be funny. This is the actual confident one. That's the confident walk. <laughs> this is the. <laughs> Why is it skipping over that one? <laughs> I have no idea. Let's have him walk like that, because I think that'd be funny. <laughs> that's that's how he walks now. <laughs> he doesn't get the confident walk. He gets the ooh, <laughs> the ooh walk, the cat walk. <laughs> Yeah. Um, the way Logan walks is probably normal. I don't think he'd walk any special way. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? No. Default. Um, no. Let's change his personality just a bit. Or his, his likes and dislikes. Um,. I don't think he really has any likes. I know he likes blue a lot, and probably black, because it's simple. But other than that, I don't think he has any real likes or dislikes from the, these colors. Yeah. Logan would definitely like classical music. Yeah, actually, I'm going to put a dislike on green because of that latest episode. <laughs> Yes. He got triggered <laughs> so bad. <laughs> like triggered triggered. I thought he was gonna explode. I thought he yes. I thought he was gonna develop laser right? eyes. I thought he was gonna develop laser eyes because of the way they looked. Oh my god. I know. But he didn't. I thought he was gonna cut through Remus like he was paper. Paper genre, um, I mean, music genres, um, definitely classical music. I don't, th hmm. um, I don't think he'd be a big fan of hip hop or any, he, he probably hates romance music, if I'm being honest. Big dislike. Um, I don't think he likes either Halloween or, or Christmas, if I'm being honest. He, he likes his crofters jam. He likes his crofters jam. He really likes his crofters. Um. Um. He did put on hip hop for Thomas, so I assume that he also likes hip hop. I feel like he likes the old school hip hop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'll just like both, it's fine. Then let's go over to activities. Hates comedy. Doesn't even know what comedy is. What is comedy? I think he feels neutral about cooking. Um, don't know how he feels about fishing, actually. Because thinking about it from his standpoint, cooking is a necessity. Um, fishing is actually semi-good yeah. because you can get food from fishing. Fitness, I think... I don't think he likes to do it himself. Well, actually... He wants Thomas yeah. to live a happy lifestyle. And fitness is kind of required. Yeah. So I'll leave that as neutral. Because I don't know if he likes to do it himself. But... I don't know about gardening either. I'll keep that neutral. Because that's another thing he'd have a strong opinion on. Don't know if he plays guitar. Um, I'm going to say neutral on drinking as well for him. Because I feel like he would drink if he wanted to. Yeah. Um. Mischief is a big new. Handiness. I don't know. Um. Painting. Neutral. A lot of things are probably going to be neutral for the him. Um. Programming I'll say he likes because that's a smart thing. I'm gonna say he likes piano and violin because that comes hand in hand with classical music. Ooh, um, I'm gonna say he dislikes video games because it quote unquote wastes time. And I'm gonna say he's neutral about yeah. writing. I'm actually gonna say he likes rocket science because that's a smart thing. Everything else is mostly neutral. Aspiration, definitely knowledge. Bef hmm. I I feel like he's a mix between nerd brain and Renaissance sim. This sim wants to be good at many things at once, and this sim wants to be both book smart and handy. Well, mostly nerd brain, I think, right? Yeah. He... And I'm gonna get rid of creative, music lover, and lazy. I feel like he's none of those. He is a genius. Um... Genius. Um, I'm not gonna say he's a geek. Um, bookworm. Bookworm. Oh. Uh. Yeah, he is actually. Yeah. That that looks good for him. Now, Logan's every day. He wrote an entire schedule out for Thomas. Was it that one? I, for I forget what his every day looks like. Hold on, I need to double check. It's basically a polo shirt with a tie. Yeah, but I need to know what color. Here it is. It's bl oh, the tie is blue. The tie is blue and the shirt itself is black. So hold on. Yeah. Well, that's a problem. Okay. Uh That's not a polo. Uh that's a polo right there, but there's no tie. Oh, there's a tie. Oh, hey! Kind of. That has a cardigan, though. But the tie is perfect, because he has stripes down it. Let's, 
That's almost perfect. Let's see if we can find anything else. Like, there's another polo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure what I have for him right now is perfect, right? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Also wear black pants, which is... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's his every day. That's his every day. Oh yeah, he has glasses. I forgot about that. Thank you. I also for I also forgot to give Patton glasses. Hold on. How can you forget to give Patton glasses? To be fair, you forgot as well. True. Um, I feel like Patton's glasses would be a lot bigger if they were different glasses. Yeah, Patton's glasses would be like giant nerd frames. Or actually no, those yeah. these would have been fine. And I need these for like every single everything, everything. Well, we can take them off for sleep, right? Yeah. Party, swimwear, we can take them off. Hot and cold. There we go. There's our boy. Give us Logan's glasses, which I feel like would be like this, like s way smaller. <laughs> also, real quickly, I need... No. No. I'm trying to get to his eye color. Those glasses are in the way. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes. Got it. Okay. Darker blue. Darker blue. Darker than patent blue. There we go. And I feel like he... Like, I feel like he'd still dye his hair as well, but darker blue. Yeah. He looks like Neptune. <laughs> he looks like Neptune! From Ruby, he looks like Red Neptune. <laughs> okay, wait, we can fix. Why? We can fix this. We can fix this. Turn his hair back to dark. We're we're just gonna make his hair fancy instead to differentiate him. Look at his fancy hair. Look at it. So fancy. Oh my god. Yes. Hold on. Yeah, look. Fancy boy. Look at that fancy boy. <laughs> okay, um, let's go to formal wear now. Put on his glasses again. 
Um. Now, what did his tie look like? Cause. <laughs> For for the for the lawyer outfit, um, for the lawyer si situation, the lawyer episode, um, he was wearing. He he was wearing something else, I believe. I don't think he was wearing the same thing. He might have been. Cause he's already kind of informal. Yeah. Yeah, he he stayed in the same exact outfit during the lawyer thing. So 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 his everyday is also his formal, <laughs> apparently. Wow. By Sandra's side's lore, his formal is the same exact as his everyday. So um, I I guess we're doing this again. Uh, we're. Where was it? Which one did I pick for him for his everyday again? Hold on. Okay. Wait, I don't think it's here, so I might have to get rid of the formal tag. There we go. I don't know how it's not formal, but where is it? Yeah. Okay, so it should be on the right. Without the formal tag. Thank you. Okay, no, that's... What? It was on the right. Oh yeah, it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. That's it. Thank you. It's the same exact as his everyday, so black pants and black shoes. Next is his athletic wear, which um, I'm kind of willing to keep the same. <laughs> I kind of want to keep it the same exact thing. Yeah. Wait, except for the pants. I want to change them to this color. I forgot about the... Oh, wait, no. We have the glasses there. Um... And the shoes, I want to change the color as well. Logan is simplistic, but also some 
sometimes complicated. Yeah. And let's give him his glasses again. Okay, next one. Sleepwear, which we don't need to give him his glasses for this one. Um. Can I? Okay, there we go. Tops. Because he had a unicorn onesie, but again, we can't do that. I know he yeah. has a unicorn onesie. <laughs> I need more water. My th my throat is just dead today. I'm probably going to stop streaming once we're done with Virgil. We haven't even started on Virgil yeah. yet. Well, customization, uh, customization in The Sims takes a really long time, okay? Yeah. That's just a Minecraft shirt, I don't think he'd like that. Let's give him something really simple for sleepwear. Plain blue tee. And you know what? Blue pants as well. Just basic. And I think he'll have basic slippers as well. He wouldn't even have the bunny slippers. Look at him. He's he's he, he's glorious. Anyway, party wear. <laughs> have to give him the glasses. Um, and for- Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna see if the brain one was here, but yeah, you're right. He would wear extremely formal stuff. Like, I was just gonna give him a polo like this. <laughs> Normal polo. Because that would work as well for him, you know? Yeah. He's very simple. Yeah. But also classy. It just gives me the vibes of, like, he has to one up everyone he's around. <laughs> The pants are fine. The pants are perfect. Um, I'm not going to change the pants. I'm going to change the shoes, though. And I'm actually going to give him sneakers. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to give him sneakers. Wait, I didn't even notice, but his party wear- why is he wearing that? Hold on, is everybody wearing that for party wear? I have to check everyone. Hold on, I have to check everyone. Because I feel like everyone's wearing that and I just didn't notice. Hold on. Okay, 
Everyone else is wearing long shirts, so I don't think I ever noticed it on them before if they are wearing it. Because long party wear, you know? the first time I noticed it. Anyways, that's his party wear. Um, next outfit. Which is his swimwear. I feel like, I feel like for swimwear, I feel like he'd be the only one in a tank top. I feel like he'd be the only one. Or one of the only ones. I feel like Virgil would also wear a tank top to go swimming. Because I don't think... Hmm? Yeah. I'm saying if Virgil did go swimming, I think he'd be very insecure. And I think he'd wear the same thing that Logan's wearing, which is like a tank top and shorts. Yeah, it would. Unless yeah. he doesn't wear makeup. If he knows it's a pool day. Like, doesn't have to wear makeup. <laughs> what if I give them a private pool? A bathtub? <laughs> Give him an inside pool. <laughs> no, give him one of the kiddie pools. Oh no. <laughs> okay, um... Okay, this is hot weather. For cold weather, I'm really gonna give him that one sweater, but... I feel like this is actually a decent t-shirt. I know he wouldn't wear it for hot weather. I know he'd still wear this freaking polo. <laughs> still. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's give him something different. There we go. Different polo. Nice polo. No, that's one more. Uh, he would never wear cargo pa pants. He would not be caught dead in cargo pants. Definitely not. I think I think he would wear something like this during like summer days, or if it gets really hot. I think he would roll up his pants. Cause why would he wear shorts? <laughs> and his shoes, we're gonna do these flats over here. There we go. The next winter clothes, um, which I know exactly what he's gonna wear for winter. Look. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. And you give him glasses. But look at that shirt. That's perfect for him. It's a brain. His entire thing is just being smart. Yeah. 
Yes. He must flaunt it. Also, I need to change his pants. Because again with the cargo pants. And I feel like for his winter clothes, I feel like... Hmm. I feel like he would wear boots only for winter though. Like the winter time is the only time he wears boots and that's it. Because he feels like it's appropriate. And that's Logan. Our last one for today is going to be Virgil. Yeah. Wait, why doesn't he have his glasses on in his little picture right here? Oh, because he's in his swimwear. That's him from my library. The boy. The boy. Merge. Imagine if I pressed replace. Oh god. Oh no. That'd be hours just out the window. This is probably going to be the hardest one, too. You know why? Why? Because it's Virgil. Oh. Oh, yeah. The thing with him is he has makeup, and I don't think every day makeup sticks. I think you actually have to put it onto every single one of his outfits, the same exact makeup, except for swimwear. I'm not going to give him makeup for his swimwear, or his sleepwear. But everything else he needs makeup for. Yeah, first let's adjust, um, the way he walks, first of all. Um... He has the depressed walk. There we go. The depressed tired walk. That's his walk. His likes and dislikes. Um, loves the color black. I'm gonna say blue is neutral. He loves purple. Um, I'm gonna say he hates red because, um, Roman has been... Terrible to him. <laughs> he also really does not like any of the bad sides at all. He doesn't like Remus, and even though Janice is changing, he still doesn't like Janice. He's still, like, iffy. Yeah. Um, music genre, alternative, yes. Classical, no. He probably hates romance music because of, because of Princey. Um, I think he'd be neutral on hip-hop. Um, I think he'd actually like blues, maybe. Um, I feel like he does like winter music and he really likes, um, spooky music. Well, kind of. I... I actually don't think he likes- I don't think he likes Winter Holiday, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I think he would like a couple of old-timey music as well. Let's go to activities. Um, 
Okay, he, he hates fitness. I don't know why I did that. Um, I'm gonna say comedy is neutral, because he does like it to an extent, but he doesn't make puns, like, every couple of seconds, or make jokes. Yeah. Um, I don't know how he feels about cooking. Um, I'm gonna say he's n neutral on fishing. Hates fitness. Gardening neutral. Guitar? I'm gonna say he likes guitar. That's gonna be my headcanon. Ooh, I'm gonna say he doesn't mind. I can see Virgil. I'm gonna say that he. I can see him playing guitar. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna say he actually likes drinks. I'm not gonna say he's an alcoholic. I just want to say that he likes to have a drink every now and then, maybe as a headcanon. I know, but still. I know, but still. Um... He likes his mischief. He likes a good amount of mischief. He is a mischief boy. Yes. Um, I'm gonna say he's neutral on handiness. Um... I'm gonna say... hmm... Painting. I'm gonna say maybe he likes painting. Like, I'm gonna say he has his own personal paintings that he likes to, to make. Cause he's too anxious to show them to other people. Definitely. I'm, I'm, my headcanon now, now that I see writing, my headcanon now is that Virgil likes to write fanfiction, but he's scared. He's an, in, he's an insecure otaku, that's my new headcanon. <laughs> I'm And I feel like that's all his likes and dislikes. Actually, I might actually make it so that he dislikes cooking because I feel like he'd get anxious about cooking anything. I feel like you're rather order food. Yeah, I don't think he'd like cooking. Okay, now his aspiration. Um, his aspiration... God, this is hard. Probably nature. Want to collect. Let's become an expert gardener. Fishing. Um. I think Virgil. I think something that would actually help soothe his anxiety if he were to try it is actually being a gardener and like planting stuff. Because there's very, very. Yeah. There's very little that can go wrong with planting plants. Very, very little. And I feel like planting, like, doing that would actually help calm him down. Watering plants, all of that, you know? Really help him calm yeah. down. Or actually, wait. A quick food, we can do mixologist, but no. I kind of want to look through everything else, just in case. Yeah, it's- it's either, um, it's either botanist or, um, or mixology for him. Probably botanist would be better for him. I feel yeah. like. Um, let's get rid of the creative trait. Let's get live- well, actually, keep the music lover trait. He actually does like music quite a bit. But he's not lazy. Yeah. Nah. He is a loner. He doesn't really stick with the others very often, I don't think. I don't think he's the type. And, um... Um... 
And I feel like he is very gloomy. Oh. He's not very happy a lot of the times. Huh. And that's Virgil. Um, now let's do the, the customized thing. First I'm doing his eyes. <laughs> I kind of want to give him purple eyes, but we can't do that, so I'm going to give him pink eyes instead. That's kind of purple. Yeah, it's kind of purple. It's more purple than pink. I'm going to give him this hair, and I'm actually going to give him the purple highlight hair. Like that. Perfect. Or actually, is there a black purple highlight? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Um. Oh yeah, makeup, makeup, makeup. Okay, what is this? That's eyeline or eyeshadow. He does apply a lot of eyeshadow, I feel like. Like under eyeshadow. Yeah. Um, you can get rid of the masking powder. Oh yeah. Oh, oh wow, what is that? What is- whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, whoa. I I'm sorry, this is- this is just making me go, whoa, hold on. <laughs> That's some really colorful eyeshadow. I know, I, I'm, I'm, oh, yeah. whoa, that is gorgeous, look at that, look at that high shadow, damn. I'm sorry, I'm just really impressed. Oh, what is, why are, th oh, oh, galaxy, <laughs> okay. I'm just really impressed. That, that's all. Have you never seen this before? Never. Oh. No, let's make him a raccoon. Perfect. Actually, I don't think he's that much of a raccoon. Wait, why why did it give him that again? I got rid of that. There we go. Why does it keep adding it back? No. Because I think no, you're you have the eyeliner. I think No I didn't. I didn't have the eyeliner. It keeps adding back. It keeps adding back the eyes. No. Okay, watch. So you know what I'm talking about. And so I'm going to select that and then I'm going to deselect that and watch what happens when I go to eyeliner. All right, pick a new eyeliner. What? It it just That's glitched. That's that's so glitched. Okay, that's fine. The eyeliner is fine as it is right now anyways. Um What face paint? Ooh. No. Stop adding back the eyes, god damn it. Okay. There we go. 
Now he looks good. Now he looks good. I like it the way it is. He looks like that normally. Looks nice. And now we do clothes. Oh. Um, for his everyday, I know what I want. I know what I want for his everyday. It's this hoodie right here. Huh. I feel like that should be like all the time. And then for formal, just do the purple. Did, did you see that? Did, do you see his eyes? Uh. I didn't do anything. This is his this this is his everyday hoodie. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do undo. I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna continue pressing undo. I'm gonna leave the V C but I am still keeping an eye on the stream. What is wrong with Okay, you know what? That's barely noticeable. And actually, let's do something like this. not even there it's not even there no one can see it perfect hopefully that works and I actually do kind of want to change his eyes but I won't do it I won't do it Where's the hoodie I liked? There it is. <laughs> black pants, black shoes, perfect. Uh, formal is gonna be a hoodie with a tie or I can't actually do that so well I could but You know what? Getting rid of the formal filter. <laughs> I actually feel like... No...
I feel like for party wear, maybe he'd wear plaid, but for formal... Hmm. Where did the necklace come from? Oh, um... I'll fix that in a moment. There we go, that's his formal right there. Perfect. And, um, there's, um, it's like a purple button up, like a purple and black button up with a I don't know where it is. This would be fine, right? It's got a name tag on it. It's like a work shirt. <laughs> It's his old work shirt. That's his only formal outfit. It's his. It's an old work shirt that he had. <laughs> I think that'd be funny. I think that'd be really funny. Oh, you mean Oh, this plaid one. I I'm going to do that for party wear. Oh, okay. But I think it'd be kind of funny that his only his only real formal thing is a work shirt. That would work. Well, yeah. Well, whatever you want to do. This, this is th that's actually perfect. I love that. want to get rid of his um and I actually want to change it well no I'm not gonna change his every day at all but uh, uh boop. necklaces get rid of that pants bottoms show all Perfect. Perfect. Now, athletic. Um, Virgil is not really the athletic type, but if he was, it would be a hoodie. Let's go with his old hoodie. Or actually, hmm. let's go with his old hoodie. Um. <laughs> no, no, no. He he'd be too insecure about that. Um. <laughs> And the shoes are fine. Uh, let's just go on to the next one. And I'll do the makeup once um, I'm done with all of it. Now for his sleepwear, um, automatically want to do a skull thing for him. But I will actually resist doing that because there's actually a hoodie that I want him to wear for sleepwear. It's this one. Aha. Hmm. 
And actually, you know what? Those will do for sleep work, because no one can see him when he's asleep, right? <laughs> so I think he'd be fine with that. Yeah, but I think he'd be more of the type to, like, just wear a hoodie to sleep. Yeah. Um, and if he absolutely had to get up. Um. Yeah, no, I don't think he'd ever get up. I think... <laughs> he sleeps until he's dead, okay? That's how Virgil does it. Yes. <laughs> and now now we do the plaid now we do the plaid uh, this wasn't it, it was purple plaid I got it. Um, get rid of the party filter. There it is. Look at this man! And actually, change up his pants a bit because I swear I saw some pants that like, there we go. There we go, ripped jeans. Oh. Um, accessories, get rid of his bracelets, unless, wait. No, get rid of it. And now his shoes, I know exactly which, which shoes to give him. Because I'm actually really tempted to give him a certain pair of shoes. Oh, it's not here. It's not here. It's, okay. Um, get rid of the party filter. It's, okay. Never mind. Um, just obliterate the masculine trait. I really want to give him these. It's so tempting. Look, it matches perfectly. Look at how perfect it is. <laughs> you think he'd like those? I think he would. You know what? They look great. I do like the boots. I do like the boots. Swimwear. Um, again, he would go in a black tank top. And very, very, very long swimming trunks. And that's his swimwear. Hot weather. Um. What did I want him to wear for hot weather? Well, you know what? We're going skulls for him. Yeah! He keeps the cargo pants. Because, yes. <laughs> Many pockets. And then we keep the shoes because, yes. And then for his very last one for the Christmas sweaters. I feel like... 
I feel like he would wear a sweater. And actually, I have a specific sweater that I want for him that I saw. Um, I think I have to get rid of the masculine option to find it. Um, or am I might. Yeah, I, I have to get rid of him. It's definitely a sweater. I just have to get rid of cold weather to find it. I don't know why it's not in cold weather to begin with. It is a sweater. Wait, what is... Uh... Mm -hmm. just, just give me one moment. There we go, this one, this one. Because I found this really nice black and purple one. And that has to be a sweater, there's no way that isn't a sweater. those he slays those you know what I love it I love it I love it he slays and that's the end of customization for now oh yeah I have to do his eye makeup oh shoot uh Done with Virgil. He looks so good. Okay, now I'm going to save household quickly because we've been streaming for a long time and we have two more sides to go. Y you haven't watched Sander's sides for a while, so you don't know. Couple months now. Remus has been a thing. Yeah, okay, so if I open the gallery, what am I gonna see in my library? Yep, the Sanders, okay. And, oh, you're gonna love Remus. Just a bit warning, the Remus episode is really disturbing. 
It's very, very adult. I actually kind of want to watch it with you, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, 